Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and I try in this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can easily add that nice and beautiful shine to your images, and this is going to transform your portraits and put them to a whole new level. And it's going to also make them look very unique. So you can see a quick before and after. So this is the before and after, before and after. And if I told this is what I've always wanted, I request that you hit the like button on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all. You're watching and not yet subscribed to this channel. So I just come and simply delete this so that you can understand how to add this nice and beautiful shine to images in Photoshop. So you're just going to come. So you always have to add this shine after retouching. Remember, sometimes when you're retouching, we tend to lose out on the dimension or shape or those nice and beautiful highlights within the photo itself. So you just want to add them after retouching and doing as a final color grading on the images so this should be one of your last steps before saving your image so you're just going to come down here and you're just going to come to the curves adjustment layer so when you come to the curves adjustment layer you can see that we have uh, the properties and under this we have these two sliders so one is going to be for the shadows and one is going to be for the highlights and for this case we just want to enhance the highlights in this image so you're just going to simply click and hold down and drag this towards uh, the this side just like that don't worry if at all the image is looking a little bit overexposed and after doing that we're just going to close this so we can come and rename this to we're just going to rename it to highlights just like this so after doing this we're just going to come and double click right here on this layer so what we have done just come and double click here or you can come to the blending option so you can right click and come to blending options and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box or you can simply double click right here and it's going to open up the layer style dialog box so under this we're just going to come and make sure that we have uh, the blend if set to gray and we just come to the underlying layer so what we want to do you can see that the brightening is affecting the overall image and we only want it to affect the brightest areas or the highlights of the image remember we just want to enhance the highlights in this photo so what you're going to do you're just going to take the brightness from the shadows of the image so you're just going to come right here and simply click and hold down and we're just going to drag this from the shadow area so just going to come and drag them until when the effect is only affecting the highlights of the image i'm just going to take it up a little bit uh now we are now affecting or targeting the highlights of the image so after we have targeted the highlights you can see that the transition is looking a little bit rough so just want to smoothen out this nice and this and beautiful transition to only affect the highlights of the image so what i'm going to do i'm just going to hold down the option option key on the keyboard if at all you're using mac then if at all you, you you're using windows rather make sure you, that you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and what that is going to do you have to come and split this so you hold it down and left click and you split this so just split them until when you have a nice transition between the highlights of the image and when you feel like the transition is okay for you you can come and simply click on okay so you can see this is the before and after so far but this is as well affecting the background in this case so what we want to do we're just going to come to this layer mask make sure that the white layer mask has been selected and we're going to invert the effect from affecting the overall image so make sure the white layer mask is selected and press ctrl i if at all you're using windows then if at all you're using mac press command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert the effect so just going to come under the brushes right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness at zero and make sure the soft round brush tool is selected and the mode is normal or pass at 100 percent the flow is also at 100 percent make sure that you have black and white on do these two small boxes or you can simply reset by simply left clicking on these tiny boxes right here then make sure that you have white on top remember in photoshop black is going to hide that is why it hid the effect from affecting the overall image 
and white is going to reveal so make sure that white is on top meaning the brush is going to be painting white in the areas that we want the highlight to be effective on the image so just going to come and simply paint in the areas that we want to have that nice and beautiful glow or shine so you can say this is going to be introducing that nice and beautiful shine onto the model skin just like that so you can see this is going to make your image look a little bit more different and unique at the end of it all. So I think this is okay. So you can see a quick before and after for this shine. This is a before, after, before, after. And when you feel like the effect is too much for your liking, you can simply come the opacity and dial that back down. So if at all you want to do the same for the shadows of the image, you can simply come and come and create another curves adjustment layer and this time around you're just going to come right here and simply drag the shadows just like that drag in the shadows and the image is going to look a little bit darker so just going to come and do the same for this double click and come to the layer style dialog box and this time around we just want to take the effect from affecting the highlight areas of the image so just come and drag this towards uh, this side until when you feel like add shadow areas are the only affected areas so when you're done doing that you can now come and split this to fine-tune the effect so in order to split this so just move this so in order to split you hold down the option key or alternate and you split these two triangles so that you can have a better transition and after doing that just come and simply press ok and come and select the, the layer mask and press ctrl or command i to invert the effect from affecting the overall image and with the brush tool selected you can simply come and paint on the areas that you want to enhance regarding the shadows of the image so you can just come and contour and add that depth to your image so you can say this is okay and when you feel like it is a little bit too much, you can come the opacity and simply dial down that. So let's see the before and after. I'm going to put this in a group by pressing Ctrl Command G after putting them or selecting them. And you can see the before, after, before, after you can see how nice and beautiful the image has turned out to be. So this is how to add glow or shine to the image and this it is basically going to transform or make your images different in photoshop so this is it for this video and if at all you have lo loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating